Okay, so making slightly longer videos. I just cannot do shorts forever. Okay, so what I wanted to mention today is the differences between PEX A and PEX A B. People like the little short, but maybe a little bit more information will help. So let's try this. All right, if you're out there trying to do plumbing and you want to try the new PEX, okay, you're, it's holding up kind of so far, time's still going to tell, but PEX is, you know, the new hopeful dream of plumbing, piping, and so forth. Um, what type of, of fittings do you want to use? Which pipe do you want to use? Now, here's the thing with, with the pipe. The pipes are the same size, okay? And the first thing you need to understand is anytime you're using PEX A or PEX B, it's not sized quite the same way. And if you go deal with any type of realistically good plumber, okay, they're going to tell you automatically size up. So if you've got three quarter line, okay, you're going to have to size up to one inch, okay? Because what's going to happen is, is you're going to lose, because of the thickness of PEX, you're going to lose about an eighth of an inch there. And then with your fitting, you're going to lose another eighth of an inch, okay? And even if you're using expansion base, you know, you're still losing that eighth of an inch. So you still need to have a size up so that you get proper water flow. Um, and anybody who doesn't want to pay attention to water flow, well, then they don't know plumbing at all anyway. So I wouldn't listen to that. Um, you want to make sure that you're still getting lots of water at the end. And it's not a matter of making sure that you have, you know, a big huge line so that oh at the very end you need this big huge line no you're tapping on multiple devices it's like a hub or a switch in your house for internet if you have 50 people on one little switch it's not going to handle that bandwidth is it the switch will get overloaded with that many things well you have to be able to handle multiple devices in your houses off that main line okay so sure the the specific taps on those directly off those are smaller. Um, anybody who's ever tried to run garden line automated little stations where you have the, the half inch hose and then you get the little quarter inch barbs that you put into it, yeah, they, they'd understand that. Um, so with dealing with PEX, you're gonna size up one, okay? Now, when it comes to deciding between PEX A and PEX B pipe, the main difference between these two is how they're manufactured for stability, okay? PEX A lends itself to being more flexible. If you bend it and get a kink in it, you can kind of repair it by heating it up a little and, and bending it back, almost like when you do fun stuff with PVC and you bend it around. You just heat it up a little and you can bend it out. PEX B doesn't lend itself to that. It's made basically more sturdy version of piping. It's not as flexible, so it's gonna kink real easy when you try to make some huge bend on it versus PEX A already. So if you're gonna be doing a lot of bending, you wanna lean towards PEX A. If you're worried about having like high mineralized water or some type of issue with the water, PEX B is gonna be what you're gonna be thinking about, okay? I need to make sure that I've got good, slightly more resistant pipe to you know, hard waters and, and, and different issues like that, then PEX B is where you're gonna to wanna to go and you're gonna to have to deal with having to put uh, little junctions in every time you need to make 90 degrees because you're not gonna be really wanting to bend that PEX B, all right? Other than that, other than that, the only other thing that you're gonna look at is just price and whether or not you're willing to deal with the lack of bending. That's about it, okay? So the difference between PEX A and PEX B is not huge, but those are the considerations you want to take and, and look at. Um, when it comes to fittings, and this goes into one of those little issues that, that drives me nuts. Everybody who sits there and says, I want to do expansion, okay, I'm going to run you down real quick. The three types of, of connections are the expansion, and that's only available for the PEX A because it is more stretchy, it's more bendable, so forth. You can do the expansion on PEX A. The other two, crimp, okay, and clamp, okay. Crimp is where you take a metal ring and you kind of bend it into a shape, okay. Now they try to bend it into an actual circle, but there's still two little pieces on the end that get kind of pinched out, okay. 
you can't shrink metal. You can stretch it, but you can't cold shrink it. That's not going to happen. Um, and clamp is more like tightening of a noose. You, you take it and then you stretch it this way in order to tighten it like a noose. And that is, in my opinion, the best way to go. Not only that, but it's the cheapest. Because here's the thing. When you're dealing with expansion, anybody who's doing expansion tools, you're doing it for the Gucci factor. That's what it is. Oh, you have your Louis Vuitton bags, you have your this. That's all those guys are. They're, 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 they're prissy whatever chicks who want to play pretend plumbing and stuff and, and pretend like they're doing that. No, don't bother with expansion. It's a pain in the ass, okay? Anytime you have to fix it, you're cutting through the little piece and you could cut through the pipe and then you're screwed even more. But the simple fact of the matter is it comes down to this. If you're doing it manually, that method, you have to sit there and do this about seven times, okay? Just to expand it. You've got to sit there and do this little thing that, that pushes it open, okay? It's like being a freaking He-Man gynecologist with a freaking spacula or whatever it is, you know? Now, okay? And then on top of that, because PEXA is expansion based, based on the temperature, heat, or cold, it's either going to be, oh, it's, it's so cold, okay, I had to crimp really hard to cause it to expand. Then when you're putting your little uh, fitting in, it's taking forever to reduce down. So you're sitting there, you're on its time. It's not on your time, okay? Same thing with heat is you, open it up real fast and then boom you're going in so what do they do they want to buy the the power tool the power tools cost a minimum of 400 to a thousand bucks okay why don't you think about this you're doing that i have this cool thing and i paid 400 i paid 600 for my tool i paid this and look at oh look i'm so cool no you're not no you're not okay it it, it great you, you spent a bunch of money to, to do that. Okay, let's, let's pretend for a second that I even think it works as good as, as like clamp. It's still too much of a pain in the ass and I'm working on its time, okay? It's not easy, it, it's a pain in the ass, okay? Now, if you're doing the crimping one, I'm not a big up one on that because crimping is basically putting a round peg in a square hole. You're clamping it, and no matter how you clamp it, whether it's the old school days of coax, where you made an octagon shape out of it, or whatever, every one of those corners, even on the new hex ones, there's two. There's one on each side, okay? They, they, they do two half circles, and it causes a pinch out on each side. That's a weak point for where leaks can happen, okay? And I'm sure that they're clamping so hard that you know it's not gonna leak because it's just squishing so much it's not gonna leak. Okay, let's say even if it doesn't, it's still based on design scientifically, mathematically, it just, ugh, no. But at least it's you're doing it on your time. The only other problem with clamp or crimp is that you can't see it when you're doing it. You're looking at that, that that clamp and you're putting those two rings on top of the ring and you no longer see where it is. Okay, so you're eyeballing and you're doing that whole reach into the back of the engine trying to feel where it is to put the screw in. Yeah, you're doing that whole shit. Okay, you're sitting there clamping down. You don't see what you're doing. Now they've got others where they've, they've separated the two where they put the ring on it and then they can clamp it this way. Still, it gets real kind of a pain in the ass and, and part of that is because you have to be dead on with it when you're doing your 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 crimping so it's it's more of a pain in the ass thing additionally the tools tend to be more expensive okay now when it comes to to clamp clamp is tied and it's tried and true always works never a problem okay what do you do? You just pop those things off. And if you're desperate enough, you can reuse them, but most of the time you can just cut them off. Now they have this new way where, you know, you, you get a cutoff tool. Don't bother with the cutoff tool. It's called a screwdriver. You just pop it off the rings. It's no big deal. Um, but if you want to, you can get the one that is a clamp and a crimp. I think I, think I have one that does that. Um, it's no big deal. So you cut it off and boom, you're done. 
It doesn't ruin the hose, doesn't ruin the barb, doesn't ruin anything, you're good to go. So for methodology, my preferred is clamp. Well, you're dealing with PEX A and PEX B. The only thing about the fittings is that expansion fittings only work on PEX A. Clamp and crimp work on both. So there's another reason why I don't wanna fuck with expansion because I'm gonna to have to use the other if I need the other type of pipe. You know, if I need something that's gonna handle the, the, the type of water that's going through here better, guess what? Now you're buying multiple tools. There's no need. You buy one tool, it's cheap as shit, okay? They're 20 bucks, maybe 30, and they throw in a bunch of stuff just to justify, oh yeah, we're gonna charge 30 because we're gonna give you all this extra shit. You know, <laughs> the rest of them are 100 to, to like I said, four to 1,000. So I wouldn't fuck with those, all right? The, when it comes to the fitting type, I'm going barbs. Okay, I'm just going barbs and I'm, I'm using the PEX B fittings. So that's why for me, I'm gonna grab PEX A when I can. If PEX B is on sale, I might do it if I don't give a shit about bending it and I'm, I'm going distances, okay. Okay, but otherwise, unless it's bad water, I'm going PEX A, okay. Um, and the fittings, I'm using PEX B fittings with clamp and that's why. Hope you enjoyed. See you soon.